Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. This video, as the title suggests, is a how to keep internet friends type of video, and I'm going to tell you five ways on how you could keep an internet friend, and five tips on how, <laughs> I'm going to tell you five tips and five ways to how you could keep an internet friend, and we're going to talk this through. Number one, you have to be honest with your internet friend. Just like a real life friend, if you're not honest with someone, how could they be friends with you? It's pretty common, pretty, it makes sense, right? Like, if you're not truthful with someone, if you constantly lie to a person, they can't trust you. And trusting someone is the best way to keep a friend, internet friend, real life friend, anyone in your life. Because as soon as they could trust you, that makes them want to, like, be with you more and, like, confide in you and tell you stuff and, like, tell you secrets and get close with you, pretty much, is what I'm trying to say. If you want to keep an internet friend, you got to... Be honest with them. You can't go catfishing them. Don't be like give. They'll be like taking like tips from like the show Catfish and be like sending them pictures of your best friend because they are prettier than you or something like that. I don't know. You can't be like telling them lies about your family because they're not technically there with you, so they don't need to know the truth. Like no, 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 no. That's not how you do an internet friend. That's not how you keep them because like one day you guys would meet. And if you guys lied, then, like, you have some explaining to do. <laughs> Number two, you have to know how to keep up with the conversations. Like, when you guys talk, keep it going. Don't, like, do small talk and just end it there. Like, keep up talking. Like, like say if, like, you have, like, take it to for me. Like, if you have small talk and you feel it coming, like, in person, I don't know how to leave small talk at all. But with internet friends, I can easily text or, like, message them. And, like, if I feel a small talk coming, I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> and sometimes I'll text them like a random emoji or I'll do, like, a picture or this or that. Yeah. Constantly message or text them, depending if you have their number and you text them on your phone or if you DM them on, like, Twitter or Instagram or Snapchat. Message or text them constantly. Like, don't stop messaging them because, like, you could like lose your bond and then if you don't talk to them as much you won't be as close and next thing you're going to be like fading away you're going to feel that just fade just disappear di disintegrate next thing you know they're going to be sitting here and you'll be staring at them they'll be like I don't feel so good I am so sorry I am so sorry for that don't kill me don't kill me don't kill me Marvel community I'm sorry don't kill me <laughs> and Stay in contact. Like, if you have just their socials, ask for the phone numbers. Stay in contact that way. Like, if you just want to, like, message on social media, that's fine. Like, you could exchange phone numbers if you want. I'm not saying what to do. I'm just saying, like, best way to stay in contact is to get information out of them that's, like, maybe their phone number. Maybe if you have one social media, you could ask for other social medias and, like, that. Like, you guys get closer. Number three, stay true to each other. This one is pretty important, and it's not like number one, where I say be honest. Like, this one is stay true, as in stay committed to each other. I guess you could say stay truthful to each other as well, but it's not really... I wasn't trying to point that out in this one. This one, I was more like trying to say, like, hey, have that person be the person you want to go to when you need help, or... Be the person where you're the person you want them to come to when they need help. And don't, like, deny them. Don't call them names. And I know, like, sometimes friends have fights, internet friends have fights. It's pretty common. I've had fights with a lot of internet friends all through my life because I've had internet friends since, like, 2012. Even before that, I've had fights with all of them. I broke f from a lot. And, like, I know, like... Your guys are friends. Friends are going to fight. There's going to be drama. Like, but the best way to prevent the drama is back to number one and combine it with three. Stay true to each other and be honest. 
Because if you want to, like, avoid drama and avoid fights, as soon as you're honest to each other, as soon as you're true to each other, you could easily, like, have, like, that little fight, but then maybe, like, a couple hours, like, say, like, some people would just put their phone down or put something down, just like, that's it, I'm not talking to you right now, but, like, in a couple hours, you could come back and just talk to them and be like, hey, so about what happened before, and then you could just explain and then they could talk and you guys could talk it out, and then if you're honest and you stay true to each other, most likely, if they're the right type of person, they'll help you talk it out. And then you guys will be best friends again. If they won't live it down, maybe they're not the internet friend for you. Maybe they're not a good person to have in your life. Don't be internet friends with toxic people. That, I could tell you for a fact, if they're toxic, no matter in the friends, real life friends, if they are toxic, just kick them out of your life. You don't want to be friends with toxic people, trust me. That will backfire and just be so horrible no matter what. <laughs> Number four, always go to them for help. Um, help in general, whether it's like you need help with makeup, you need help on a makeup look, on an outfit, on life, or mental help. Like you're having a panic attack or you're feeling like suicidal at that time or you have depression or any form like something you're having a breakdown like a mental breakdown or like your family just driving you bizarre and just making you go crazy and you just need to have someone to vent to go to this person they'll like if you're like me you can't really vent to a person in real life because you feel awkward and you feel like you're going to annoy them a lot so if you have an internet friend, it's easier because you can just message them and you don't have to actually face-to-face -face tell them. So you can message them, you could be like crying or like freaking out and they won't actually see you. So you feel safe in the, like, the closure of your house or your bedroom, no matter where you're sitting. Maybe someone needed to go out so they went to like a park. I've done that. You have time to breathe and like take care of yourself while you're venting to like this friend who lives like in all the way across the world in another country or like another state or something like that. Don't be afraid to just vent to them because they're there. They'll listen to you. And like, if they don't listen to you, like I said before, push those toxic people out of your life. You know, just shut them out. Just say, you know what? Maybe this won't work out. But usually a good internet friend will listen to you if you want to vent to them. Most people would if they're a good person. Number five. Involve them in your life. Make, like, goals and, like, pretend you're planning out a life and just be like, hey, we're going to live in this apartment. We're going to do this and this and this. Like, always, like, put those imaginations in your heads to use. And, like, imagine what it's going to be like when you guys meet. That will bring you guys closer because if you guys talk costly about when you're going to meet, what you're going to do when you meet, then you're going to have more hope that it's going to be real and you're going to get more closer with them because you're going to be like, hmm, well, I like doing this, but I don't like doing this. And they're going to learn more about you just by simply imagining how something's going to happen when something happens. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you could give this video a big thumbs up and go hit that red subscribe button down below for making new videos literally every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I used to say every single day, but I can't say that anymore. Because I don't post every single day anymore. I post Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays now. Which will come in handy because next month I'm going to be meeting my internet friend. So I'm going to be needing to post for July. But I'm also not going to be home. So I don't have to film that many videos. It comes in hand in hand. <laughs> we should do a comment thing. Anyone who watches this far into my video should go comment. Should I do commenting questions? Or commenting random things. I used to do the commenting random things things, but I never liked coming up with like things to comment. So maybe I could do like, how do you guys feel if I did like a thing at the end of each video of mine? Well, kind of like what Garrett Watts does, where I ask a question and you guys have to go answer it in the comments, and I put my favorite ones in the in the next video. Well, not the next video, but like a video because I pre-record. So it'll probably be a video in the next week. How do you guys like that? Would you guys think that's cool? I love you all so very much. Hope you have a fantastic rest of the day.